Hi everybody, welcome back to my Rad Beauty Blog. Today I'm going to talk about the IT Cosmetic CC Cream. So this is uh, tagline, your skin but better. And this is one of those products where I literally have a, a list of pros and a list of cons and you can just make up your own mind about it. And it doesn't, uh, yeah. Anyways, so the things I do love about it is it has a mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. So that makes it easy to protect myself against the sun, anti-aging, blah, blah, blah. And it really, um, I'm wearing it right now. And it has that nice coverage where it just like, it's got full coverage, which, okay, sorry, sidebar. Like, can, like enough with the CC, BB, tinted moisturizer. Like, it is getting confusing because a CC cream is not full coverage. So why is, I don't know, but it's color correcting. It's, it's starting to get kind of bananas out there. Um, so it is full coverage and it does color correct. I love that. It blends like a dream. It melts right into your skin. Uh, it's what I wear when I have something kind of fancy to go to where I need to just absolutely trust my makeup. So it is fantastic. There's little tiny things about it I love. Like it's coated in plastic, so it never gets messy. And those of you who wear makeup all the time will know what I mean. My other foundation bottles look disgusting. So this always stays clean. Like I can just wipe off the makeup. So that's a little adage that I think is super, super cute. Um, I find, okay, so those are my pros. My cons list is, uh, this is where my heart breaks. So the things that I don't like about it are that it's got like all these citrus oils in it, like uh, grapefruit, uh, eucalyptus, Jesus Christ, uh, bergamot, which love Earl Grey tea, and I love the smell of bergamot, but I don't want to put it on my face. So it's got a lot of things that irritate your face, and I don't really totally understand why they even put them in there, because without that, this product would be like, oh. Um, the other thing I don't love, which is the price, it's like 50 bucks, but I mean, honestly, like, Complaining about prices in makeup, like, really, like, it's it, I, it's kind of hard to go against that one, because, I mean, every, everything's freaking expensive these days. Um, there's snail slime in it, snail secretion filtrate, it's called, so, I don't know, I don't know if I care about that, I hope the snails are being treated nicely, but it's a little weird. I know that's a thing, and this is made in Korea, and snail snail stuff is, I have done the sale, snail, snail masks, so I don't know, I'll leave that with you guys. Um, I think that's about it that I, I don't like about it, it's just that that fragrance, the, those citrus fragrances that, that drive me bananas. Oh, and just one last thing, it's the, um, it does tint a little bit towards yellow i'm wearing the fair the lights are light i'm wearing light right now and it it's just got like a little bit of a yellow tint to it so i don't love that um i have used it with the hd the nyx primer which right now is my go-to primer it's like i mean it doesn't have the most fantastic ingredients in it i mean some of it's good it's got peptides um but it has a couple irritants in it but i I like this kind of primer because it color cracks a little bit, like it's got a little bit of green in it. And it's also like a lotion, but it's a little bit sticky. I know I talked about this in another video, I just feel like I need to revisit it because I like it better now than I did when I did that video. Sometimes that just happens with makeup, you use it more and you realize like this is a really good product. It has like that stickiness that helps adhere makeup, which I, I do enjoy. Um, because as a sidebar, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get the silicone primers. I'm sorry. Am I missing something? I've tried so hard, and I love Smashbox, but, like, I don't get it. This always, I use a little amount. I use it exactly as recommended, and, yeah, when I put it on, my lines are blurred, my pores are blurred, but I've been using this for, like, a year, and no matter what makeup I put on it, it kind of ends up separating so I like can somebody 
explain this to me? Like, why is this the number one primer? I'm just kind of done with silicone primers. Um, I do have a couple other primers I've been using that I absolutely love. I'll talk about those in another video. But anyways, thanks for listening to this jumble of rants and uh, inconclusive information. So thanks for putting up with me and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye.